Hi there. Uh, hello, everyone. Let's back where we left off. So as you can see, uh, when transmitting electronic data, the most common use of cryptography is to encrypt and decrypt email and other plain text messages. The simplest method uh, uh, uses a, a symmetric or secret key system. Hence, uh, I mean here, the data is encrypted using a secret key and then both the encoded message and secret key are sent to the recipient for decryption process. The problem is if the message is intercepted, a third party has everything they need to decrypt and eventually re uh, read the message. So to address this issue, uh, cryptologists devise a, uh, what they call this one, um, a symmetric or uh, public key uh, system. In this case, every user has two keys. One is the public key and the other one is the private key. Senders request a public key of their intended recipient, then encrypt the message and send it along. When the message arrives, uh, the only the recipient's private key will decode it, meaning theft is of no use without the corresponding private key. As you can see in the figure, you have here uh, the, uh, uh, as we all know, uh, we have defined earlier, uh, cryptology is the, uh, the or cryptography, or cryptology is the, uh, the field of both um, cryptography and cryptan uh, cryptanalysis. So as we all know, cryptography is about uh, it's the study of encryption and description methods while cryptanalysis is the study or the code is it's it's simply a code breaking it's the study of principles uh, methods or of deciphering ciphertext and um, even if with you you don't have the key or if uh, you're actually uh, encrypting uh, decrypting the message without the key or without the key so uh the crypto uh, I'm, i mean uh here so you have here the private key which is your secret key and the public key so most of the uh cipher text under uh, are using the this keys are black cipher stream cipher then integer factorization and discrete uh, logarithm so we're gonna be discussing all of more of this in the in our few chapters. So right here, you have here uh, the difference between symmetric and asymmetric cryptography. So when we talk about symmetric crypto, uh, cryptography, it uses a single key or a secret key that creator or that the creator or sender uses uh, no to uses it to encipher the data and the receiver uses to decipher it. While asymmetric cryptography uses a key pair uh, to encrypt and decrypt the data, a public key which is associated with the creator or the sender for encrypting the message and a private key that is used for or the, the, that is used only for the the originator uh, who knows unless uh, it is exposed or they decide to share it with others for decrypting that information. So there are actually a lot of like uh, samples in X, uh, cryptography under uh, asymmetric key. So we have the RSA, elliptic uh, curve, digital signature algorithm or ED, uh, SA, uh, Digital Signature Algorithm, or DSA, uh, and many more. Okay. So this time, uh, the classical cryptography uh, can be either monoalphabetic ciphers or fully alphabetic ciphers. So when we talk about uh, monoalphabetic cipher, this is uh, like once a key is uh, chosen, each alphabetic character of a plain text is mapped into a unique alphabetic 
character of a ciphertext. So some some uh, examples or some methods are uh, shift ciphertext or Cesar ciphertext, the substitution cipher, and the affine cipher. And uh, for this, I'm going to be uh, demonstrating to you the shift cipher uh, and or Cesar ciphertext. And then for uh, polyalphabetic ciphers, uh, the each alphabetic character of a plain text uh, can be mapped onto or into M alphabetic characters of a ciphertext. Usually, M denotes or is re related uh, to the encryption key. So some of the examples or the methods for doing this kind of encryption or uh, cryptography is uh, the Vignier cipher. And we have also Hill cipher and permit permutation cipher. So for this, I'm only going to take Vignier cipher for uh, as an example of this one. So I guess that would be all for now. And thank you guys for watching this video and see you guys next in my next uh, topic. Bye bye.